Well, saving on gas is always a good idea, but it's more important than usual during the summer months when people are hitting the road, going on road trips. There are several ways to save besides looking for the best price at the pump. Joining us now is Janelle Marte, reporter for Market Watch. Janelle, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Emery. Thank you for having me. So what are gas prices doing now? by the way. So the good news is that gas prices are down a little bit overall this mm -hmm. summer compared to last summer. But of course, in a lot of parts of the country, especially in the West and in the Midwest, gas prices are still pretty high. You know, right. it's pretty easy to find you know, 430, over $4 a gallon. Mm. So a lot of people are still feeling the pain. So you want to get the most out of your gas when you fill up that gas tank. It exactly. doesn't necessarily mean looking at the numbers, you know, comparing the numbers here and there, your tires. Make a difference. Yes, I know a lot of people do not think about their tires, mm -hmm. but if you want to be really efficient with the gas that you have in the tank, you want to make sure that your tires are properly inflated. Something like less than 20% of cars have their tires properly inflated, mm -hmm. according to AAA. So again, you have to take the you know take the uh, the measurements right. and and try to stick with the the recommended levels according to the car manufacturer and not the tire maker. So right. ah. something something to think about. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of the car and how well the car is running, you got to keep up on the maintenance. Oh yes, definitely. Not a good time to be ignoring the warning lights. I mean, besides the <laughs> oh, fact no. that you don't Even want to be. <laughs> All those flashing lights. <laughs> just, yeah. Pay just attention. A little Christmassy. <laughs> I'm getting around to it. <laughs> I mean, besides the fact that you don't want to get stranded on the side right. of the road while you're like driving across the coast, um, you want want to be sure that, that your car is running at the best that, that it can. Yeah. You know, high quality cars are much more efficient with gas. Very good. And I don't like this one. Pack light? I know. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to take the extra like uh, suitcase <laughs> that you were debating on. Right? Right. The one full of shoes, maybe in my <laughs> case. Um, so, so definitely think about it. The heavier the car is, the more fuel is needed totally to get sense. you to your destination. Mm -hmm. And another thing that people don't really notice or, or think about is that Sometimes you want to have more space inside and put the car, the luggage on top of the car in the in the rack, yeah. and that actually creates more of a resistance, more of a drag, and all these things that you're not really thinking about could just be costing you to stop and get more gas. Right, more often. it adds up to cents basically being thrown out the window, right? <laughs> Dollars and cents. Um, and also, you must be driving with me. I know you're not driving with me because you don't know me that well, but drive the speed limit. Yes, the, uh, on that note, yeah, yeah a, a lot of times, and it's hard, especially if you're dealing with traffic or yeah. other crazy drivers, but uh, these like f fast starts and stops right. and, and going, you know, every time you hit the accelerator you're, and accelerate really quickly, you're using more and more fuel, right. obviously. It's kind of common sense, but... Um, but it is also shown that the faster you're driving, even if you're not accelerating or changing frequently, you are using more gas at, the, okay. at those higher levels. So one possible, you know, try to make the most of it, drive the speed limit right. and, and, you know, try to avoid these like Right. Erratic Enjoy the journey, stops. right? Yeah. That's the rush. <laughs> That's the, the journey is part of the vacation exactly. too. Exactly. But you do say shopping around too can make a difference. Well, yeah, clearly. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're, when you're trying to fill up Try to get a good sense of what the prices are compared. Don't just go to the first gas station. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can cross the street or go a few blocks and you'll see quite the big difference. So yeah. Well, I know, you know, in the area that I live between Pennsylvania and New Jersey, there's a huge difference in the gas prices when you just exactly. cross over the state border. So if you're taking a road trip, it might make sense to, you know, hold off a little bit until you get into mm -hmm. a state where mm -hmm. the gas prices are significantly cheaper. Exactly. Or maybe stop a little sooner if you know that where you're going, it's right. going to be much more. So Right. All good little pieces of advice. Put them all together and you'll have extra money to spend on your vacation, right? Exactly. I love it. Thank you very much. Uh, Janelle Marte, reporter for Market Watch. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.